I am Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to draw with light in Adobe After Effects. For this tutorial you will need a plugin called Trapcode Particular so if you don't have that go and get that first and apart from that I also like to say that if you check out our website we have a bunch of After Effects templates, presets, visual effects packs and motion graphics packs so definitely check out our website with the link in the description and without further ado let's get started with the tutorial. So I also like to say that I'm currently using my Wacom tablet so uh, it's um, just something Something that I use to actually draw onto my screen so uh, this is going to be a little bit easier than using a mouse um, if you don't know what it is just google it it's like a pen onto a tablet and then you just draw onto your screen I will be using that to actually draw because that's and uh, that's just giving me a little bit more control on what I, I'd like to draw so I will go new composition and right here I will rename this to main comp and of course make it full HD 300 frames long and 30 FPS which means 10 seconds along if you have a different kind of time code right here and just click OK. I'm going to right click here new and we'll create a new solid layer and I will go to my background color and just pick like a very dark blue kind of color and click OK and yeah it doesn't matter to give it a name and then right here I will also go to my project manager and just change the 8 bits per channel to 32 and click OK. Then I will right click new and create a new null object and our null object is going to reference like our light streak that we're going to draw onto our screen right now. So um, what you can do is open up motion sketch if you don't have that go to window and right here you will have um, motion sketch uh, should be somewhere around here. I don't really see it right away. It's okay right here. Motion sketch. Um, all right, so click that on if you don't see that right away. And we have capture speed at 100%. So that's totally up to you. Um, yeah, it's I kind of yeah, it speaks kind of for itself. If you if you lower this, uh, it's just going to everything that you capture real time. It's going to slow it down or speed it up anyway. Uh, but you can do this later as well. So if you record at 100%, uh, you can slow it or speed it. Uh, speed it up and then for the smoothing currently uh, you should have like one I'd like to just increase that number so we have a very smooth kind of draw onto our screen uh, I use four in this case um, but you can play around with all these settings um, depending on whatever you like maybe we can use three will be good enough probably and then for the wireframe background if you want to see a background like if you use a reference image let's say we'll use a text for now and I'm just going to draw it on here so you just see it as an example I'm going to put it right over here because I don't really need kind of something to to give me a reference uh, in this case uh, if we go back to that motion sketch path we can click on background and that will just show us our background while we draw I will click on my null object and then just click on start capture. It's not going to do anything right away. Uh, once we actually hit our canvas right here, it's going to start recording. All right, so this is what I just did here with the null object selected, start capture, and then just uh, draw something onto your screen. I have hello here, and now I want to make this like a light streak. So what I will do is right click new and add a new solid layer, and we're going to name this particle and just go to effect trap code particular right here and we're going to use this uh, to actually follow our null. So go to the particle right here and if you're going to play this you're going to see your particle spawning like so. Go to the emitter tab and open up the position for our null so we'll press P on the keyboard. We will see that right here we have a bunch of keyframes and these keyframes are referencing uh, this right here. So uh, what you can do is uh, select everything and if you want to trim this down or uh, speed it up or slow it down hold alt select all of well just select all of the keyframes hold alt and then just click on the last keyframe and drag it out or in and that way you can actually uh, reorder the time of this uh, kind of animation and of course for Valentine you can capture something like a heart or whatever uh, pretty cool as well uh, so you can do a lot of cool things with this technique actually so go to the particles right here and hold alt and click on the stopwatch for the position X and Y click and now with this tool the whip tool we're going to just select our position for the null what that's going to do is just going to look at the position of our null and it's going to copy it in the position of our particles 
So right away, if we're going to close this down, we'll see that it's actually following our path, but it's of course exploding uh, because we have added velocity right here. So we want to zero all the velocity down and we'll go we're going to get something like this. So this uh, looks pretty cool as well. Uh, yeah, you could do even other things like uh, kind of a stitching effect using this technique. And you can actually see that in our motion sketch, it's not that very smooth because we're using smoothing uh, three. So I'm going to quickly redo this kind of thing. So I'm going to undo my particles, go to my uh, null object, go to the beginning and start capture right again with a smoothing of six. All right, so I just did it again and now I'll go to my particles and just make them visible again. And now we're going to see that we have a different kind of vision right here. I'm also going to set my uh, position to 10 times smooth and actually that was a problem. So this, the problem wasn't at the smoothing right here in the motion sketch, but the problem was in the particles themselves. And this can be easily solved just changing this to a 10 times uh, linear actually. Uh, so change it to 10 times linear and now you're going to get a better result right here. So this looks pretty cool. All right. And of course, you're going to see that your particles die off. If you don't want that, just go into the particle tab, go to the life and maybe change this to six. Now we're going to get everything on screen for six seconds and then they will die off. We'll also go to the opacity over life and actually um, just make this a little bit larger and click on this preset so it actually fades off over life and now we'll get something like this and it will fade out and maybe increase it to eight uh, so it's a little bit longer on screen. I will also increase my size for my particles and now we get something like this and change the particle type to a streaklet and now we're going to get a kind of result that we actually want but of course you can see all of this jitter in between and that's because we don't have enough particles so change this to 250 let's see if that works uh, we'll need more um, but you can also select all of the part um, the the position keyframes for the null and just uh, maybe make it faster and that way or actually slower and that's going to give you better results I was hoping yeah if you slow it down you're going to also get like more particles because it takes more time to actually make them um, but go back to the particles and just increase it to something uh, just enough so don't overdo it don't just add a thousand and then you're sure that it's completely correct just try to add as many as actually necessary so maybe go for 350 and well we'll, we'll work with that for now go to the color right here and we can change the color to whatever we want so maybe we want to change it to something kind of orange which kind of resembles the color of light and then the most important thing is right here in the transfer mode we'll want to change this to add or screen so let's change it to add and you're going to see that you have some light kind of feeling to it right now because it's actually overlapping and right here it's going to be darker than here and of course you can also play with the opacity to make it less intense on some spots and more intense in some other spots because right here they are overlapping so it will be double intense uh, of the actual value here so if you change it to 60 or so we're going to get a pretty cool result maybe in 50 and there we go so now we actually have kind of a light feeling to it and it's fading off like so so pretty cool and I'm going to move my null object a little bit more to the top. So to do that, click on your position, go to the, one of the keyframes, just make sure that your time scrubber is on one of the keyframes while all the keyframes are selected and then click on the null and just move it around and there we go. I'm actually going to delete this text. It was just a reference to show that once we are drawing, it's going to stay on frame. Um, but right here we have our text centered it's drawing on screen uh, we want to change up our background a little bit so click up on a background go to uh, effects generate and ramp well gradient ramp and change it to a radial ramp and for the darker well the white color we're going to change this to a darker kind of orange and then click ok and then for the center color we're going to pick a brighter well still dark um, but orange color and this is going to refer like represent our lighting against the background and It's just going to help uh, to actually um, make the Yeah, make the scene a little bit better. So you can play around with this Like this uh, Maybe you can pick this color and just make it like blue on the outside and then you can get some really cool kind of um, Design effects into it so play around with all these settings maybe kind of purple can be cool 
let's keep this for now. Then just right click new and add a new adjustment layer on top of everything. Just put it on top right here. What I will do is actually use one of my presets that you can download on our website for free at the freebies page and it's called free, um, yeah, Perfect Glow. I'm going to drag this onto my um, yeah, my adjustment layer and because we are working in 32 bits per channel we're going to get pretty decent results. So I'm going to uh, yeah, keep this as it is and hold control while dragging this intensity lower and now we're going to get a nice kind of glow effect on top of our layer. And of course if you increase the threshold you're also going to get less um, kind of glow. If you toggle this on and off, you really see that it's popping our effect and this looks really cool. Currently at the end, we have this kind of weird, um, yeah, kind of clumping everything together. And that's because it actually stops here, but our particles keep spawning. So go back to the particle, go and click on the stopwatch for the particles per second, page down one frame and just set this back to zero. And here we go. And this is also going to fade them out over time. So now we have our written text like so, pretty cool. Now easily, uh, if you would just want to change everything, just undo everything right here, go back to your null object, go to the beginning and then just uh, click and start capture and just draw something different. And then just go back to the particles. You will see that immediately it will just take over that kind of motion. And of course, if you want to change the color, go to the, pour, um, well, the color tab and right here, change the color to whatever you like. Make it a little bit brighter. And there we go. If you want to change it over life can also be pretty cool. You can add kind of rainbow colors to it. Uh, if you lower the life right here, you're going to see more colors into it. Um, but that way, if you play around with this gradient, you can get colors like this. So that's pretty cool. And again, play with the background as well, because it's not kind of currently fitting um, our scene. So maybe uh, we want to make it a little bit more red, like so. So it's popping a little bit more. And there we go. Go back to the adjustment layer, maybe lower, in this case, our threshold. And maybe also lower the opacity for the particles right here in the opacity tab and that way you can get some pretty decent results. <laughs> so that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much and goodbye.